And welcome back to Tony's Board Life. I, of course, am Tony, and we are continuing our field of fire. I've got, I made sure my mics, I'm going to double tap, but I made sure my mics all charged up so we don't have what happened at the end of the last, <laughs> last video happen at this one. Now, a couple things. First of all, I will, I want to thank again Andrew from the um, uh, Field of Fire. Uh, HQ Lounge. Uh, we've he's been putting up good uh, suggestions, good tips, good questions. Good, hey, I didn't see this happen. Did this happen? You know that type of things. So I do recommend if you are learning the game or you've played it, but you're not quite sure if you did stuff right, go look at our conversations that uh, and tips that he's doing. Uh, I post these videos on that particular uh, fan book or Facebook page. Uh, to get actual feedback. So it's something that I think is uh, really good. And so if you want to really learn some stuff and, and things like that, great place, great guys, just really, really, really happy. I'm glad I did it. Um, again, I think about this game, been thinking about this game so much lately. i um, really enjoying it. Uh, it may hint be up at least top five, top three even maybe of games I've played in 2022. Um, looking forward to the bulge pack actually. And, uh, <laughs> as much as I don't have volume two, I think I need to get volume two now. Uh, that's, that's what I'm thinking about on this one. That's how much I've really enjoyed this game. So a couple of things we need to kind of correct. One is my heavy mortar spotter that I said, Hey, he comes off. Well, he doesn't come off until the updated fire missions at the next time. So they do stay, he does stay on there. And then, um, I'll just grab a, a flip counter to put him back on and then we will go ahead and put um a incoming because that was this one that was there he left out and got got that one a um, couple other things i had attached these weapon crews to their platoons so uh, the ones that were here um were supposed to be attached to the third platoon so they're supposed to move then. For some reason, I was thinking they couldn't move, and then I was wrong. So they do move. I can leave them in places um, and detach them type of thing, and with that. Um, another comment came about my uh, casualty. Uh, casualties cannot move. They need to be picked up. Uh, so I need to send, and I do get a Jeep. That's the one other thing. I do get a Jeep. So I can technically send a Jeep out here, pick them up, bring them back. Um, so that way he can then, um, be part of that. Okay. So I probably used some stuff that I didn't need to on this. A couple other things. Uh, you just can't do the same action on the same impulse. So if I tried this from first platoon going into here, he was getting platoon leaders for that one. Then he would, I could only do it once. So I couldn't do a grenade attack twice, but with the general initiative pool, I was able to. So that's that. I think we're kind of caught up on that. Uh, all the all the slight mistakes that I've made. Oh, line of sight. So line of sight is kind of immediate. So as soon as we move into something, if you can uh, observe something, you can do that. So what I'm going to do is, so this guy, so when he moved in here, could see this one. So that opens up this one right here, which is a hill. So I need to grab another card. And then there's brush on top of that hill there. So I can't see past that then. But now he can see right here. So this one gets flipped. Let's see what we have here. Ugh. That's a village. So he can't see past there either. But we have some cover there. Um, so that'll be real nice. I think I got all the rest of them. So those ones uh, should have gone through. Kind of bummed about the hill there. Uh, the only nice thing is now I feel a little bit more comfortable moving uh, into this area and moving things up. So, 
Now, let's go ahead. Let's go on with our, uh, our, our sequence of play. Um, so we will start with that. So we have a friendly, nope, friendly HQ order, nothing there. So that's good. We are not in a defense mission. We, okay, friendly combat phase. So the battalion is going to order the CO to do stuff. The CO can, so these guys can still see CO, or because they're on the phones, they have the CO has the phones here, and they're adjacent, so that's okay. Now when they get up here, we'll have to start using uh, uh, different things. This one, not so much. So he's not going to, so CO cannot activate him because he cannot get to it. So at least that's my understanding of it. If I'm wrong, let me know. But we're going to play this way. So four, um, and the CO is line. So it is just going to be four. So the CO is going to have what ends up with five. One, two, three, four, five. And he is going to, because these guys are not in cover here. So he is going to, um, wait, uh, that's automatic, which I think I have. Okay, HQ. Uh, okay, so he's going to order first platoon. Um, yeah, he's going to order first platoon. I think we're going to be okay with this. Oh, you know what? When he moved in here, oh no, there's Hill there. Nope, don't, not too worried about that. Okay, so he's going to order first platoon, second platoon. Third platoon you can't reach, but first sergeant and XO, first sergeant and XO, we're going to order them and we're going to move those guys up and that'll leave him with a one. Okay, so now, so we did the CO, now we need to do the PLAS. If activated, um, the CO HQ draw an action card, give the modified number. Okay, so these are green, so these are going to be minus. So we're going to start with uh, first platoon, which is right here. Um, so how many actions? Four minus one is three. So first platoon will get three actions. And let's see, what do we got here? They are actually... Although I'm not really thrilled about it. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to take one of the squads here. We're going to take third squad. We're going to reduce them down to to a two spot. And we are going to get an assault team going. And we're going to move the assault team on the hill. We're going to take assault team here. He's going to move up here. And then he is going that is going to be he's going to be exposed then. I got to get these cleared off. This just has to happen this way. Uh, he's going to have this guy try. So that's one, one command point. And this guy is going to try to do a grenade attack. Um, he's lying. Everything's lying other than the leaders. So we need two cards here. And we're going to need a grenade attack. Nope. And nope, so no grenade attacks. Um, so that's another point. And I think we're going to hold him there. That wasn't effective at all. Okay, next thing we're going to do is yep, second platoon. Okay, so we're doing second platoon here. Second platoon activation, four minus one is three also. Second platoon is three. This is second platoon. Uh, we're going to do, yep, we're going to do the same thing, and we're going to get up into this right paddy here. So we're going to take um, second platoon, third squad. So second platoon, third squad is going to detach a salt team. Oh, not a fire team, assault team. 
thirteen into here. That's going to be one point, and then they are exposed as well. And hmm, and that's. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm trying to think of the best way to go about this. What else I should do? Um, just one. And I want to keep it. Okay, so we'll just keep two here because that's the max I can save. We're going to keep two because it's uh, green. The max, the max he can keep is two. For green. Okay. Uh, XO, first squad, or first sergeant, company XO, two. Uh, they are also, so the sergeant's a vet, so he actually gets plus one. So this would be, uh, we'll do the XO, uh, but he's aligned, so he's going to get two uh, command. Oops, two commands. XO, one, he's going to move uh, our. Uh, military FO, board observer. I'll move him into the open, into this open right here. Hoping for okay, and I'm going to also move the first sergeant in there eventually too. Um, because the first sergeant has our RD FO. So my hope is being able to call a fire mission. Okay. Uh, so... He, yep, he's activated, completed, and our, oh, our first sergeant's going to have quite a few orders here, which is cool. So he's a vet, so he gets plus one on that. So that's four plus one. He gets five. Um, okay. And so that's going to go down there. So he's going to. Now that guy's going there, and then he's going to that's he's going to be exposed as well. Now, hopefully, we don't get anything that can hit these guys. One reason why I did this is one, I have a hill here, so if anything comes up at here, we got a hill there. We have a village blocking it. I know it's open. Um, the only one I worry about is kind of over here, um, but anything that comes up over here, pretty much, is going to be blocked to get here. So we're going to, I think we're going to be okay. So I, I feel comfortable doing that. Okay. Uh, and so that'll be it for, for Sergeant is right there. Okay. So we did that. Now initiative segment, um, if not activated above, draw an action card to give it the modified number of initiative combat man listed. There are none. Uh, platoon, if not activated above. Okay. So third platoon was not activated. And we are going to just make sure that we are going to go ahead and, yeah, initiative, uh, because that's not, that's not initiative. Well, it would be initiative. Okay, yep, so the, the, this is the initiative, so we're going to use the bottom number, and it's, it's modified, right? Uh, platoon, then I can draw an action card and give the modified number of initiative commands. Okay, so it is modified. So the bottom number is modified. Oh, it's a reshuffle. So this is going to be two minus one. So he's going to get one. Okay, so now I'm going to pause this and I am going to uh, shuffle the cards up and get back with us. All right, we have got our cards. We will cut them one more time, and we will go from there. So we have our one command <laughs> for this platoon. And I think what we're going to do, hmm, we're going to uh, act, activate this squad to move into here. Now, it is got a VOF on it. So one thing I found out is you can only infiltrate into a card that has a VOF on it. And so he's going to try to infiltrate in here. 
which will be two, and that is not active. Okay, but then he does move in there anyways, but he is marked exposed. Okay. Okay, so general initiative segment, there's no modifications on this. I get two. Um, yep, I get two here. So two. What are we going to do? So we're going to go ahead. We're going to try to do a grenade attack again with this guy. So that's going to be two cards. Um, one, two. Nope. So no grenade attack. Oh, I'm just not lucky with that one. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to take this assault team that's in the village and we're just going to move up here. We're going to go in there. That's my two. Um, and then he's going to be exposed. Okay, general initiative segment. I believe I did that correctly. Now, um, we're on to enemy higher HQ event segment. Nope. And an enemy activity check. Okay. Uh, okay, so these guys are pinned. So we're going to have to go to the pin hierarchy. Okay, pin, not undercover. On a U.S. occupied card, nope. Pinned, undercover, nope. Pinned, not undercover. So this is where we're at right here. So we're going to see what happens. Uh, no leaders on there. So it's a one to, f one to five. So let's go ahead and draw a card. Uh, five, that is a four. I figured it was going to be a rally. <laughs> is it going to be a rally or no action? I just... Uh, so rally. Now this is one place I did something incorrect last time. So we actually have two. I actually have two fire teams underneath here, by the way. Okay. And those two, I have to draw a card for each of those. Now again, they're veteran. So looking at that, it is two cards to rally. But since they're veteran, they get uh, to remove a pin marker. They get three. So they'll get three cards. And we're looking for rally on the top. So we'll talk, we'll do this first one here. One, two, three. So no rallies, but man, that's a lot of covers there. Okay, so the first one did not come unpinned. The second one, one, rally, two, and three. So one of these guys is now not pinned. The other one is. That will change the VOF because they're all not pinned. So the VOF will go back to small arms. Okay, so I, I believe I'm doing this correctly on this one. So that looks pretty good. Okay. Um, and then we have our, so he just does his fire missions uh, until they run out. There's like no activity. That's, he's separate. I remember reading that particularly. So that one's separate after after reading through that. And he, they are the only ones on the board right now. Okay. Um, mutual capture. Capture any paralyzed or littered teams along a card with an infantry with a VOF rating from the other side. We don't have any captures. Uh, retreat any non-pinned, non-captured, paralyzed team members under VOS marker. One card to better cover. Okay. Retreat any non-pinned, non-captured litter teams plus a casualty, which we don't have any litter teams. We just have a casualty under VOF. Uh, so this casualty that's underneath here and this casualty doesn't have a litter marker. I don't have any way to transport it. Uh, move or fire active vehicles if both sides. So we don't have the vehicles out yet. Now. Okay. So now we're on to mutual um or mutual fire missions up there remove existing incoming so that's this one so this one uh but the thing is is that um uh flip pending markers of their active side adjust current activity uh marker as needed well this is where they only get one they only get one fire mission so that goes away this is when that happens because since we have units on here, oh, and this one can go away now. It depends on 
it can you can vary things so that's why we did that that way okay so now we evaluate potential which we have and let's see here okay so contact one friendly or enemy occupied card is under a vof marker and one friendly or enemy two plus so we are engaged so i have two cards here okay so two cards or two of these so let's take a look at our first so we have one two and three yep one two three so who we're going to so we're going to look at a three we're going to do two first okay so one two so it's contact b okay so contact b let's see if we have any so oh yeah that's what it's looking up here um b contact so engaged is three because it's two plus friendly or enemy occupied cards under vof mark as well they're firing back and forth <laughs> it's going to be two cards so we are engaged in this case so we need three cards uh, okay one two three okay no contact no contact because uh, we're right here too no contact no contact no contact rally okay no contact no contact no contact nothing okay this one will be contact. Oh, cover. <laughs> I, I always thought it there because there was a C. Okay, so great. This one is cleared off. That is awesome. Now, one, two, one, two, one, two, and it will be a one. So we're doing this one next. Again, three cards. One, two, three. Let's take a look. Cover. Next one, cover. Next one. Rally! Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's awesome. Contact B. Okay. And then finally, this one right here. Again, contact B. Three cards. One, two, three. So, cover. Nice. Nothing. Nice. And... Really? Oh, I got lucky this this turn. Got lucky. Cleared off. So I have... Oh, I don't have that cleared off. So I have all this cleared off, all that cleared off. That's pretty awesome. And uh, that cleared off as well. So I've got quite a few cleared off for this turn. That's, uh, that's awesome. That is awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Um... Combat effects. Okay, let's take a look here. So we only have two here, uh, and they're simultaneous um, with this one. So huh, this rice patty is wide open. So we get plus one, plus zero, plus zero. So plus one. That's what we're looking at. Plus one is a miss. So this card got missed. So I got missed, which is really nice. This one is a plus two, uh, but minus one, plus four, so it's plus five. Yeah, plus five, minus one, so it's plus four. Yeah, it's plus four, so I'm not expecting much out of this. That's a miss, so I wasn't expecting much out of this. I got to figure out what to do with this. I really needed that to go in there. Um, I may need to move one of these artillery in um, <laughs> to put some fire in on that one. So, okay. So, yep. Mm, we're good to go here. And then rem remove any. Um, so, this will, I, I know, um, if I remember it, you removed a pin if there's nothing there. So, that pin's going to go away. Okay, and then all the exposed markers get pulled as well. 
Uh, yeah. Um, so let's take a look here. Oh, I should have done this a while back. Dang it. Okay. Anyways, so I should have done this already. Uh, this guy can see here. What do we got here? Village. So that stops the line of sight here. This guy is here. Yeah. So let's see what we can see here. Oh, this one's an open. Which means you can see up at the corner here. And that's a rocky. So we've got a lot out and seen. We've got a few more that are not out. Oh, he's on the hill, so now he can see. Okay, so what's our objective look like? It is a gully draw, except for it's an opposite gully draw. So it can see this way, but not past this way. So it can see out to here, but then can't see past here because that's a hill. Eh, interesting. Um, and this gully draw is not a level one. Uh, unlike this, oh, that's an embankment. That's a difference. Okay, embankment gully draws are different. Okay, so we got our CO, and I think because they said it happened automatically, I think I do get no because that's not the leader here. Okay. Um, by the way, if I'm wrong about the third platoon here not being able to reach because he's oh he's here and this is a standard area, um, let me know. I'm not going to reverse anything. Um, I'm just going to move forward with it because that's the best way you learn. Just keep moving forward. You make your mistakes. Um, but right now, this is a major battle, and I've got to figure out best way um, to work on it. Yeah, I just don't know. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I need to do. I think I need to rally this guy. I should have used that. So I should have used my initiative, an individual initiative. Um, to actually try to rally that guy, get that pinned off of that marker. So, but it'll be interesting to see what I can do and see if I can move things up. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I I knew I wouldn't be able to get this hit the six mark, six turns, uh, because we are now on to turn four here. And we're going to start turn four. And at five and six gets dark, there's no way I'm going to get up there, all the way up there um, before turn six. What I wanted to do is get this row cleared off. So really want to get this cleared off, this guy out of the way, and then I need to get these potential cards. I'd like to get these out of the way. So that way, on my continued attempt, attempt two, to achieve the objective, um, I have this part all done, and I can just really focus on that one and hopefully finish it on that. So, Okay, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope I did most everything right again. Uh, if uh, I'll put this on the um, Fields of Fire HQ Lounge on Facebook, and if there's any comments or questions or anything on there, uh, they'll be able to take care of that for you, and any questions that come up uh, will be posted on there. So it's a really good place for you guys to see um, what I did and see the discussions on that, and you know maybe you know um, get a little bit of uh, strategy. Uh, with that one, one of the recommendations was not attaching the recoilless rifles uh, for the heart rate, heartbreak, uh, heart rid, heartbreak ridge uh, scenario, which is the second Korea scenario. So with that, I want to thank everybody and I will see everybody later.